Hey, we're talking about competitive interviewing today in head drama, and we have actually proven pointers. Let's get back now to career coach, image consultant, Lisa Maley. Uh, Lisa, last time we were talking a little bit about the passive and uh, the uh, active type of interviewing. Let's follow up on that. How can one go from a passive to become an active, which is more effective? You have to really practice at home and decide what success stories you're going to show. Because okay. in essence, if you're a passive, they'll pass on you. But okay. if you're active, there's more of a chance that they're going to be you're going to be active. Okay. Well, what if maybe it's your first job? I mean, how can you really mm -hmm. show successes? Success, well, rather. Well, you have to indicate how you were a hard worker in other areas. Maybe oh, okay. volunteer work, school. Oh, okay, yeah. That'll work. And, and mm -hmm. managing a family. If you're a mother out there, do you say, look, yes. I have four, I have one son, he's an Eagle Scout, yada, 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 good stuff. All right, mm -hmm. let's talk about first uh, uh, the best way to get noticed when you walk in. A lot of people would think, well, you know, have something flashy on or something like that. What's your advice? Well, the easiest way is to have an incredible first impression with your wardrobe. You okay. want to look better than the competition because okay. the interviewers are assuming this is you on your best day. Uh, makes sense. So you want to show them a candidate with growth potential. Never dress for the job you're interviewing for. Dress a couple of levels above. Okay, oh, that was my next question. So mm -hmm. even no matter what, even if there's uh, teenagers out there, it's okay to wear the tie if they're going to be a bag boy or something like that. Would you agree? Oh, of course. In fact, if you don't have any experience, you need to look like you, like do, you do even more. All right. Uh, and let's talk about first, we'll break it down. First off, men. You had mentioned mm -hmm. jackets. What else? Yes. Well, in conservative industries, the best look is going to be a two-piece suit, a uh -huh. business suit in navy, gray, or black. Wear it with a long sleeve shirt in crisp white. Ties will be more memorable if you do them in red. And again, even if it's an entry-level job, dress up and say, I know that you'll want me to come in casual, but this job is really important to oh, me. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's and I idea. wanted to show you that I have respect for your company. Let's go to ladies now. What do they need to keep in mind? For ladies, two-piece matching skirted suit, so same dark colors. You don't have to wear a long sleeve shirt, but you do want it to be in white if you're interested in contrast. Okay. And particularly if you're wearing pantsuits, you want your jacket to cover your high knee. <laughs> And you have okay. to be concerned, of course, with your skirt length because you're going to be sitting down. All right, you have a nice, I, I guess, a brooch. I, I noticed that. That would stick Thank out. That, that's one thing I would remember, I suppose, right? You like my flower? I do a flower. So I don't know what we mm -hmm. call that, a pendant or something, mm -hmm. or just flower? See, I know nothing about, about fashion. Flower pins. That's okay. <laughs> flower pins, mm -hmm. good. Uh, what about other things like accoutrements such as watches mm -hmm. and stuff? How should you For both them? sexes, wear a watch. Make sure you only have a maximum of one ring on each hand. And since typically no one ever loses out if you appear conservative, only one pair of earrings, remove all hardware, cover all tattoos. Oh, great, yeah, great idea. And if you want more of these great career success stories from Lisa, it's on our Head Drama site. She also has her DVD. You can find out more information on there as well. Well...